Well, it's the Navy's newest destroyer. And the million-dollar USS Gridley made history in South Florida today. My 33 George George Estevez brings us the inspiration behind one Florida sailor who got to come home before setting sail on her very important mission. Men. <laughs> Women. <laughs> African Americans. <laughs> and Asians. Side by side on board the USS Gridley, a Navy warship now ready for battle. Officers and crew of Gridley, man our ship and bring her to life. And just like that, 400 crew members boarded the ship named after a Civil War captain, Charles Gridley who died shortly after winning the Battle of Manila Bay in 1898. I plan out the best, the best, safest route to get there. On board, South Florida native, quartermaster second class, Aurora Chavez. I get to show my friends, my family here, and, and right now up here on the bridge of Miami is just wonderful. The 22-year-old from Homestead maps out the ship's course and helps the driver navigate. Chavez was in the bridge during the ship's commissioning ceremony where thousands watched as she officially became a member of the U.S. Naval Fleet. We're honored to be here today, but we know we have a job, we have a mission, and that's our ultimate responsibility. As Chavez disembarked, they're, they're back there on one of the tables. She was reminded of her other responsibility. Her three-year-old daughter, Alicia. She doesn't want to let me go. And... It's tough for everyone in the audience here to let go. From veterans to children to mothers, they watch as their loved ones sacrifice for our freedom. Well, the Navy won't tell us where Chavez or the rest of her crew will head the next couple of days, but after spending some time here at the Port of Miami, the USS Gridley will make its way eventually to its home port of San Diego. At the Port of Miami, George Estevez, My 33 News at 10.